Hello everyone, Ian here at Abel City in Burbank and today we're taking a look at rhodium filters from Schneider. Now these are FSNDs, which stands for Full Spectrum Neutral Density Filters. Uh, it's uh, kind of uh, a natural inclination to just say, oh, they're IRND filters, but they're actually sort of the next step in that process. IRNDs were a reaction to a phenomena that was occurring with early uh, digital sensors in that what would occur is under bright situations, we put a uh, higher density, neutral density filter on the lens. And what would occur is we would start noticing that there would be a huge shift primarily in dark colors. And what was happening was that as we were reducing the amount of visible light to the sensor, we were now emphasizing the infrared spectrum. So filter manufacturers came out with IRNDs to alleviate that problem. What the full spectrum neutral density filter does is it corrects through the full spectrum, not just addressing the infrared spectrum. So what I wanted to do was to see what the effect of these are uh, on our modern sensors. So I took a RED and I took an Alexa and I was in Palm Springs, California. Uh, what I decided to do was to do three passes of the exact same subject. What I would do is I would shoot it with a regular ND, an old school IRND, and the FSND. So I wanted to see how the sensor reacted to those three uh, different filtration situations and what my results would look like.
That wraps up my look at the Rhodium FSND filters from Schneider. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.